I'm really terrified right now. I don't want to talk more. Parents in a fearful vigil outside BCC High School. It's horrifying. It's completely horrifying. I have no idea how horrifying it would be. A haunting echo of the all too familiar attacks on America's schools. There's too many guns in this country. There's no reason a 17 year old kid should have access to a gun. Ever. We gotta do something to change this. Just before 10, a verbal fight in a hallway. A student texted his mom that someone had pulled a gun and the principal ordered the school locked down. The teacher just um, closed the door and put a chair in to like hold it closed. We were huddled up against the wall. We didn't know what was happening and we just waited. A swarm of cops determined there was no credible threat. They never found a gun. Is it wrong that you guys should have to live like this? Yes! Yes! The confusion and fear left lots of people frustrated. They need a 21st century real-time communication plan. They need to communicate with their teachers and their students, not leave them in lockdown with no information for well over an hour. Last year, authorities seized six guns from teens inside Montgomery County High Schools, five of them untraceable ghost guns. The, the rule of no snitching, I think, goes away once you start endangering lives. These are high school age kids. We need them to work with us. Starting Thursday, the state's attorney is launching an unprecedented series of assemblies at every county high school, urging kids to report, even anonymously. I've been doing this job long enough that I think that they know things many times about what's going on in schools that we don't know. Parents can opt their kids out of these assemblies, but the prosecutor says they are not anti-gun presentations. He says they're simply about keeping our schools and our students safe. In Bethesda, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9.